All right, let's get going and bring on board our first guest on the show. Sanjeev Basin from IFL Securities joins us. Morning, Mr. Basin. Thanks for joining in. You know, every market rally has its own set of skeptics. Now, I want to play this time from the other side and ask you a question. Why is it that more stocks are participating in the up move? Nifty Sensex uh, have hit all time highs. But what a lot of people are noticing is that a lot of stocks, uh, especially from the broader market, still are lagging behind. Why is that happening? Yeah, morning, Karunia. So like you rightly pointed out, uh, there are walls of worry and the pessimists or the sceptics have been left behind. If you recall a couple of months back when there was gloom and doom, I was one of the few who stood out and put my neck out. So Karunia, it's simple. You can't run with the hares and hunt with the hound. You have to be invested if you are in India. You cannot have timed it to perfection of buying at 15,000 and selling now. So, so the undertone is simple. The feeling of mistound is humongous. Indian uh, stock market is, uh, you know, outperformed or an outlier globally. Now, in the context of mid caps and some uh, larger caps, it is always going to be a constant drift. When you see FI inflows, they will definitely be in the large cap stocks. Hence, the mid caps will lag a bit. But, but look at the darlings of the stock. Who thought PSUs will come back the way they have? So, you know, three, five years of underperformance gets done in one year. And you've seen stocks double, triple, even more than that in the last one and a half years. I still think PSUs are in a very sweet spot, though you should take some short-term money off the table. But given the context of the global scenario, uh, India has been an outlier and we think that any decline now will be an opportunity for the left out feeling to come in. So I would say these are slight bit of uh, market balances which are going on. Once you see flow of money stabilize, then mid caps will also start to catch up in the respected sectors and stocks and the earnings. You know, what we saw up until September 2022 was a broad-based rally and index and the broader market started to diverge uh, since then. Most stocks saw profit booking while the benchmark indices rose to higher levels and, you know, we saw what happened thereafter. Talk to us about, uh, like you said, broader markets will catch up sooner or later. Where do you see value right now? Is anything, uh, any pocket in the market that's available at attractive price points right now for those who missed out on the heavyweight index up move? Yeah, so simply put, I think, uh, you know, some of the select mid-cap IT, some of the select mid-cap OEMs and select uh, mortgage companies, you know, again in the mid-cap category, I think they are giving you a very good entry point if you are looking for investments with value. And, and all three, you know, if I could name a few stocks, so Canfin Home is one of our top picks where the ma management has indicated that the second half business would be double the first. It's one of the cheapest stocks and it's the third largest mortgage lender in the ticket of 15 to 25 lakh. Mother Sansumi is another name where even though they have a Europe reliance, they are now going to be the outsourcer since you see this problem of COVID in China and Euro one again being an issue. I think auto outsourcing from India We'll see Motherson gather steam. Third would be, uh, you know, some of the uh, mid-cap mid uh, uh, auto stocks uh, or, or the IT stocks, you know, like a persistent system or a co-forge, where uh, the management has seen a fair bit of fair weather on the attrition side and the margins have been very, very stable. So pick and choose your color or look at some of the mutual funds which have an exposure towards these mid-caps. I think you will be rewarded in the slightly medium to longer term. Do you foresee or do you expect in any way the rally to become narrower because there is more money chasing very few stocks, uh, which obviously also means that actively managed mutual funds could outperform the benchmark and there could be more money moving towards passively managed funds. So do you see the, the rally sort of getting bro uh, narrower? Correct. And, and it should be like that because uh, Karunia, you've seen a very, very sharp runoff. Now, fund managers generally tend to be in the large beta stocks so that they can be safety because when the markets correct, the high beta will correct more than the market. Uh, the markets are not cheap. They've climbed all walls of worry. The left out feeling has seen the, you know, the dumb ETFs who sold aggressively to 15 and a half thousand are now uh, outrightly chasing uh, growth on 18 and a half. I don't see much room of comfort on the valuation basis. Like I said, if not today, uh, you could you could end the year on a sweet note, but January will be a very difficult month before the budget. Mm -hmm. And I think that 
if you have made money then definitely take some money off europe is euro is trading below the dollar for an extended period and europe is giving you an ex exceptional time to go and holiday over there yeah you know uh, it seems like a lot of people are of the same view as you uh, mr basin that if you have made money maybe you can book part profit and keep some cash aside because uh, also uh, i just wanted to understand how about earnings trajectory because we are once again seeing a bounce back in uh, in commodity prices oil also did see a good rebound so do we see some earnings pain as well in the next few quarters so there are two two parts of it india is an expensive market karunia on the back that uh, equity as an asset class which was underowned in over the last 70 years is making a strong comeback this whole wall of uh, you know uh, which uh, one money which has come is all the retail flows and they are here to stay they are not going to go away in the next 3 6 9 months or the next 10 years that means that valuations will look stressed in certain sectors and certain stocks and the overall because of this uh, constant inflow of the sips and the mutual fund inflows against that backdrop earnings may have actually hit a crescendo but we still think that given the environment and given the language of some of the bankers the mortgage companies and the auto companies i think that the best is yet to come now you can always discount on a price earning basis whether we are you know above the tide or just at par but that will be a constant foray so you cannot but time it i think if you stay put with good stocks you will definitely make money in 2023 the volatility will be there before the budget plus uh, karunia as we get closer to 2024 there will be election uh, process you know freebies and so on so i would say a large part of the rally may have been done with but still the left out feeling may see some more fraud come on the upside okay all right well on that note mr basin thank